England are looking here at the chance to become a part of football history. We've had the greater part of a month of endless football. These championships have been full of talking points and debates, and it has been thrilling to be engaged in it. Euro 2020 has been special, memorable, magical for so many reasons. The fans have been unforgettable, as has the drama they have witnessed. It has never stopped giving, and as the curtain opens for the very last time, we look forward now to joining in the final chapter. The grandest game in this summer's grand event, and we are thrilled to have you with us for it. This, of course, a venue that needs no introduction. The iconic arch, a symbol of Wembley Stadium, the home of football. And so, the national anthems. down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it So here is how they line up, and nothing can top this moment for either set of players. It is without doubt, Peter, the greatest show we have this summer, and the fact that this is like a celebratory edition too makes it that little bit more special, doesn't it? I've certainly enjoyed it, giving us a, a fair share of just about everything we've come to expect from a competition of this magnitude, and yes, let's hope that it gets the perfect send-off. So, just who will seize their moment? Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Stones plays it forward. Walker. Keeper's ball. Lorenzi tries to get it forward quickly Chiesa plotting from out on the right hand side Immobile now it's Immobile oh he's been flattened there Florenzi A heavy challenge. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Florenzi gets into the right position to intercept. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up. Had a shot! Just off target. Kane almost put aside ahead with a, a pretty fierce attempt. He really spanked that. Italy playing high up the pitch here, very much taking the front foot approach. Benucci. First quarter of an hour gone. So it is still nil-nil. Chiesa pushes to get on the end of it. Maguire.
Stones. England keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Shaw. Rice. Phillips. Jorginho gets it back. And here's Kane. Oh, that's neat. Kane. Out to the left it goes. Looking for a decent ball in. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Chiesa spreads it towards the left. Good clearance and very necessary. Time to deliver. Played into the middle. And here's Insignia. Whipped. Shot at goal! Goal! Italy! Could that be the start of something big? And how about that for a volley? Executed to perfection. Immobile. Simply judged everything beautifully. That takes a lot of training ground practice. And we know what practice can make. Italy have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Locatelli, and it's Insigne. Across the field it goes. Florenzi. There's the cross. Good idea, just poorly executed. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, it was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Rice, Maguire goes looking, Shaw has got to run down the left wing. Played into space out wide, there's no flag, that's a hit! And that's caused a worry or two. That's a little unfortunate, he had a lot of people worried then. Stones drives it forward. And back to the keeper. Seems now to be all about wits. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Rice. Shaw. Chiesa displaying his defensive capabilities. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half.
but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. And we're up and running. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Botticelli. Dinks one in. And helps available out wide. And that has sent him sprawling. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. They get a throw in. And it's Jorginho. Kane. Now the counter. Plays it out to the wing. It's a promising ball. Big chance! He's gone for it! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Oh, the weight on the ball was just perfect, and if only they could have come up with a finish to match. Bonucci. Chiellini sends it forward. Jordan Henderson. Stones looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well... It's Kane! Just a whisker away. And that's exactly the type of adventure we want to see in a final two, Peter. And it's a pity it didn't cause the net to bulge. Chiesa. Well weighted. Surely a shot. Shaw, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. And it's Sterling. Tries to get it clear, and it's been taken straight back. So, Jim, what are you thinking? England are now matching their opponents. Look. Has a goal! Oh, great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. And here's Immobile. Immobile with a delicate ball. Hoists it forward. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Maguire did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. That tries a shot! He has done it! And this is getting better and better. Pickford did well the first time, nothing he could do about the follow-up. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Italy get themselves a two-goal cushion.
Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Forward it goes. Kyle Walker. Sancho. And it's played forward. And that's been levered clear. Emerson going full steam ahead down the left flank. Emerson goes on an adventurous run. Insigne has it in a wide position, so what next? Almost nothing left on the clock here. Just a few moments from glory. What an adventurous run from a defender. Pickford is there to take. Forward it goes. And the shot! Somehow it stayed out. And that's exactly the type of adventure we want to see in the final two, Peter. And it's a pity it didn't cause the net to bulge. Chiellini. Emerson tries to get it forward quickly. And Sinja brings it over to the other flank. Oh, good steal, he just read it. Time added on will be two minutes. Shade too heavy. People can pick that up. Hit long and direct. Now it's Immobile. Lovely bit of skill. Jorginho. Chance! Oh, shooting chance! So who's he picking out? Whipped in. And that has been clubbed away. The final whistle and the end. England fall at the final hurdle. They gave it everything, but it was a bridge too far. And so it ends in pain as the glory goes else. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.